What is the walrus operator in Python? If you've never heard of it, stick around and let's step through a quick example to hopefully allow you to understand what it is and how it can be useful. Let's say I have some massive piece of data. For the purpose of this quick example though, I'll just enter a few numbers here. Now let's say for whatever reason, you wanna know if there are more than one odd numbers in this data set. And if there are, I wanna print how many there are. So I wanna first create a function that takes in my data as an input. Then let's simulate that this is some large computation taking place here. So let's import time and let's sleep for one second. Now let's gather all of our odd numbers into a list. So using some list comprehension, we can do O for O in data if O modulus two is equal to one. And then let's return the length of this list. So back down here, let's say if count underscore odds with our data as an input is greater than one, then in here, let's print how many odds there are. Now let's time how long this takes. So up here, let's do T1 is equal to time dot time. And then down here, let's do T2 is equal to time dot time. And then let's print total time down here. So we'll print that it took T2 minus T1 seconds. So we can run this and you'll see that it took two seconds. That's because we're counting odds here in the if statement and also counting odds here in the print statement. So we can fix this by simply using the walrus operator. We can compute count odds here in this if statement while also assigning the output to a variable. So we can do in walrus operator, which is just denoted by a colon equal sign, and then count odds with data as our input. And then let's enclose all of this in parentheses. So essentially what's going on here is the walrus operator is assigning the output of this function to n. And then we see if n is greater than one. Now down here in our print statement, we can use our variable n instead of recalculating. So let's run this and you'll see that it only took one second. That's because we only ran the count odds function once here. Now there's obviously another way you can do this. You could just simply assign the output of this function to n up here and then use the n in the if statement. There's no right way to do this. It's ultimately up to whatever you think is more easily understood and readable. And that's pretty much all there is to the walrus operator. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like. And if you like content like this, subscribe for more. Hey, if you're still here, I wanted to let you in on a little secret. I've been taking Zero to Mastery's Python developer course to polish up on some of my Python skills. Check out the link below if you're interested. And if you want to learn with me, they've given me a discount code to give to my audience. Enter friends10 at checkout to get 10% off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.